Rockmare has done a response to my videos, but also to the comments in her YouTube videos. And the point of her stream was not to try and call me a liar or call me a manipulator. It was to prove the frames were missing out of her own videos. Now, let me explain something. She's claiming frames were missing. She's claiming that she thought it was her editor. She actually brought her editor on for some time. It was like, oh, just ignore Triple B. He always does this, blah, blah, blah. The reality is, right, it feels to me like this is all planned. I'm not messing. And there's a reason for that. Her video, I will actually link her stream down below just because I want you guys to know I'm not trying to cut out anything that she said or anything of the sort, but I wanted to focus on certain points here today. So in the next moment, you're about to see she actually claims the frames have been cut. Take a look. I can't see the followers, guys. We're going to slow mo this and watch something really important. Obviously, I mean, there's nothing to watch here. This is when I shoot at him. I'm missing and then my aim literally goes nuts on him, right? right this is this is not normal guys this is not actually possible okay there's a problem here um frames are missing okay so you can either first think she's hacking she has the best aimbot i've ever seen in my life okay but aimbot does not do something as bad as this guys i promise aimbot does not do that literally my aim goes from left to right straight away okay like i'm I'm missing a little bit and then my aim just goes straight on him okay there's no transition aimbot does not even do that okay like if i had something as powerful as this i can promise you with all the bans going on right now i would be banned considering i've been shadow banned and i've been in the loop five times i've been shadow banned five times in a row and then released obviously because i'm not hacking i would have been banned banned something as powerful as this shit should be banned right so in that clip you can clearly see there is what looks like a major aimbot snap right but she explains that aimbot doesn't do that aimbot will not actually cut frames out of the footage right now we've got another moment as well where she claims the same thing but one thing first do you need help dealing with the stress of cheaters in Call of Duty? Try Supreme CBD. Now, but on a serious level, guys, this helps me on a day-to-day -day basis. It helps me get my head down at night. It helps me with anxiety. It helps me with day-to-day -day stress. But also, with their new mushroom range, they actually have plenty to offer. I use Focus, which is Lion's Mane Mushroom, which literally helps me get up every morning and get on with my day-to-day -day activities. So, guys, if you want to try these products, use code TRIPLEB40 at checkout to save 40%. Supreme CBD, the link's down below. Anyway, let's get back into the video. So that's now two moments where she's claimed Aimbot doesn't do that. Aimbot will not make frames disappear. So I'm going to explain to you that Aimbot will do that, depending on how fast you have it set up or the smoothness settings you have on it. If you have it whacked right up like Rage Hack settings, or even a little bit higher than what people call Soft Aimbot, it will have these effects in your gameplay. And just as proof, so people are aware that frames can be missing, I've actually went and sourced out clips from a rage hacker just to show you exactly what it looks like when aimbot is on full rage hack mode.
So you guys have just seen this now, right? Video fully played out, slowed down to 0.25 speed. I'm gonna go through it frame by frame now on YouTube. This is the YouTube video that I found, right? And it's very simple to see. So I'm gonna go through this now, frame by frame. You can see it's going frame by frame. It's gonna take a little bit of time, guys, right? But I just want you to really understand just how blatant it can be. Now, this is somebody who's uploaded their Rage Hack gameplay, by the way. Nothing about this is, oh, I'm trying to be good, I'm trying to be great and pretend that I'm the best gamer in the world. No. What it's going to show you, though, is exactly what Aimbot can look like. As you can see now, his crosshair is just moving around freely because his Aimbot isn't toggled on. Yeah? But the second he decides to toggle his Aimbot on, and if he manages to keep it toggled on, it will snap from one enemy to another. And the purpose of that is, well, they don't care when they're rage hacking like this. But for people who are streaming and using these features, aimbot and wall hacks, they will not do this kind of thing. They will most definitely fine tune it and turn up the smoothness and turn down the speed, right? This is where it gets interesting. So we've seen this movement frame by frame, looking legit, even now, while there's enemies in front of him, his aim isn't toggled on. I'm still going through this frame by frame, guys. And what you're about to see now is what it can look like when somebody decides to toggle on. Right? Frame by frame, frame by frame. Let's just stop there in the middle. Bang. Whoa, what was that? So that's one frame. That's the next frame. And people will be like, yeah, but the minimap jumped as well. There's frames been cut, but this is somebody and they're advertising cheats. They're like, look, whoa, our cheats are great. And that's what it looks like when an aimbot snaps on. But that's not all. Watch as we keep going. You can see it locked on and perfectly following because they've got it set high with their cheats, right? So we're still going frame by frame. We've just seen one snap, one instance, right? Still going, still going. Yeah. But what you're going to see now is how, how it jumps from one enemy to another, to another, to another. And it's that simple. This is exactly what Aimbot does. Aimbot will make it appear as though the game is breaking if you set your Aimbot wrong. And by wrong, I mean if you're not fine-tuning it to try and make it look legit. Oh my god, that was one frame. Look at this. One guy's down here. The next guy's in the sky. And even look at the minimap. It jumps, right? It jumps. So that's one frame, two frames, then bang. Oh my god, you mean to tell me that Aimbot can make it look like at least 40 frames are missing, 50 frames, however many frames that would have taken, right? That's a lot of frames that look like they've been cut out, right? But this is exactly what Aimbot can look like. And we've just showed you it in full speed and in 0.25 speed. How this guy snaps from one enemy to another to another and how it goes. Literally makes it look like there are frames missing, okay? So when she is sat there on her stream wondering why bad boy Beeman can't tell the difference between frames cut and, uh, well, aimbot. Well, I can tell the difference and I analysed her gameplay frame by frame like this on YouTube, by the way, and found that there was no frames cut, I found that it was exactly like this aimbot video we're seeing here. And just so you guys know what it looks like when frames drop out of a stream or when frames are cut, I've actually got a video of Z Laner. And no, it's not the one he falsely accused me of manipulating. No, it's actually one from his YouTube channel. It's actually one which is on a live stream. And this is what it looks like when frames drop. Okay, and it's completely different. And the reason it's completely different is because during the moments that we saw in that Rage Hacker clip, when he is skipping what looks like 40 frames, the kill feed stays the same. People on the um, text chat, it stays the same. None of this information goes missing, right? However, when it is frame drops, when it is things like this, the timer will change. Things in the game will change. And even the bullet drop will stop going down in a pattern and jump. 
So there are so many different ways to tell if frames have dropped, if frames have been cut. Let's get into the Z-Liner clip now. So guys, this is the clip of Z-Liner that somebody sent me. They're like, oh my God, I've caught Z-Liner. He's 100% exposed. So like always, I would do my thorough checks. I would be paying attention to the snaps. I'd be paying attention to the aim behavior, where his eyes are going, when he's shooting and stuff like that. This is a six second clip, by the way. Let's watch it through now. So, you saw the snap, right? Now we pull this back a second to about here. We're gonna slow it down to 0.25, which, there we go, 0.25, right? Now pay attention. This is what I would do next. I saw the snap, I thought, that's ridiculous. There's no way in hell z -Lana's aim snaps like that. But in 0.25 speed, I decided to watch the timer under the map when this snap occurs, right? It goes to aim at the guy on the floor. And you automatically see, like, 0.7 of a second disappear. So it literally, if I go frame by frame now on this, see, it goes from 0, 1, 3, 4, to 0, 1, 2.8. So in one frame, we not only see this change, but the whole, like, kill feed changes, everything so that's exactly what it looks like when frames drop during a live stream by the way this is zelena having frame drops during a live stream and yet for some reason we didn't see any change in the timer or anything of the sort when it came to rockma's aim snapping onto enemies the way it did now she can sit there and say her aim looks completely different on the original fods and they may well do however the point is still there 30 fps compared to i don't know 60 fps or 120 fps can look slightly different if you watch an aimbot snap in 30 fps it looks more apparent than if you watch it in 240 fps or 120 fps or even 60 fps so it could just be that do i think that rockman is still cheating i think so yeah however she did mention in one of the earlier clips that if she was to have been cheating that bad she would have already been banned Right? Now, a lot of us know about the MA cheats, yeah? So you understand how they work. I've explained in recent videos that you will have your gaming monitor that will have your gameplay on that is connected to your PC. And then you will have a second monitor, which will then have and be connected to the DMA. So whilst you're playing on this one, and this is the one that's being projected out to your OBS, to your viewers on Twitch or YouTube or whatever, you actually have a second monitor that has the gameplay on as well, which is essentially being mirrored onto it with the cheats on show what would you call it you would say that's your real monitor and the one with the cheats on would be your fake monitor right which is kind of a weird terminology to use because real and fake monitors i mean a fake monitor would insinuate that you are having you know a certain type of gameplay on that but not the one you pay attention to mostly yeah but anyway Let's pay attention to Rachma explaining her monitor setup now. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna, I don't know, I'm gonna be playing, um... Ricky, what's up, Ricky? What's up, Guns? Guns is hot, let's go. Uh, decompose. You have three monitors? Did you not just hear what I said? Did you not just hear what I said? I'm getting accused of having a third monitor and walls, okay? Um... I don't know where's the third monitor. I'm showing again. You better fucking watch. Open your eyes. This is my PC, okay? This, guys, is my PC. Watch the fucking cam here. Do not watch me. This, you can see my cam, by the way. It's so cute. Oh my god. Um, This is my main. This here, guys, is my actual main monitor. Right now, I'm actually. I don't think I'm about to play because this is going to take long, guys. I hope you guys have popcorns and all that. Anyways, um, this is my real monitor. I play with it this is my fake monitor this is my stream monitor uh this is where i watch usually youtube and ch twitch chat okay all the time um just play with a webcam on monitor and clear your name easy this is more than that guys there's more than i'm gonna be playing with this cam here this cam is gonna stay here so guys make of that what you will she's talking about a real monitor and a fake monitor that's kind of weird to me considering she's saying if she was cheating that heavily she would be banned right the reality is the ma cheats are very hard to detect so most of them undetectable so would she get banned no would she get shadow banned a lot yes 
Has she claimed in her live stream that she gets shadow banned a lot? Yes. So it brings me to the next part as well. Is she manipulative? Is she trying to manipulate her viewers? Yes. And the reason I can say this is because within one of the clips that she decides to demonstrate in this live stream that was three and a half hours long, she decided to use a moment of gameplay where I used it in my video because of what she said afterwards where she says, oh my God, that's aimbot. And we've actually seen two moments like this. She decided not to play them parts, but also somehow use this as a way to debunk what I'd claimed against her. Take a look. <laughs> Or 27. No, that was a 27. 27 kills. So I got 27 and 4 or 5 are extremely sus. And he ignores to him, obviously. And he ignores all the rest. All the rest for him is I wasn't hacking enough. Or I wasn't toggling. Or I don't know what the fuck he says. Team bot on their own gameplay. Take a look. <laughs> My Twitch VOD. The difference between my Twitch VOD and this. Yeah? Oh, my bad. <gasps> oh. Okay. This, there's a huge difference, right? There's a huge difference between what he's showing. Instant lock. Literally. What the fuck is going on? Instant lock. Okay. And my Twitch VOD. By the way, this is 0 0.25. This is very slow-mo. Again. If that wasn't enough for you guys. My aim goes slowly to the guy. Okay. And it does not lock. It's not as snappy as it's being, you know, showed or seen. I don't know how to say on his video. Did you notice how she kept stopping the video at a certain point and pausing it at a certain point or restarting it at a certain point? That was the moment where she actually said, oh my God, that's aimbot. But if you pay attention to the very start of that video, you actually hear me say, because she's reacting to my video, you actually hear me say that she exposes herself for aimbot. So let's play the full clip through for you now. Oh, that's aimbot. <laughs> that's aimbot. <laughs> and yet again, this is something that we've seen happen with Z Laner. When we pointed out him saying, my aim lock, my aim boss, my uh, freaking aim assist. And he tried to debunk that whole clip by claiming that I accused him of cheating based on something, but missed out the part where he was meant to play that through what he actually said. So just like Z Laner, she's cutting parts out of her video just like nadia she's like oh my god i'm cheating i'm the best i'm the greatest female warzone ever so with all of this behavior that she's showing do i believe the frames are missing out of her footage no not really i believe that it's just the difference between 60 fps and 120 fps or 30 fps and 200 fps but the fact still remains there are far too many moments within her gameplay showing signs of aimbot i'll leave it with you guys open-ended so let me know what you guys think in the comments below if you want to hit that thumbs up please do try and get this one to 800 likes if you are new to the channel subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss our future uploads and if you guys want to contact me about a streamer who you believe is cheating you can do so by contacting me on twitter at bad boy beaming and until next time i'll catch you on the flip side P -p -p peace